and girls, welcome back to art. Remember, we started off with our optical illusion last week and we created our lines and our curved lines and our undercurved lines. And we made this illusion and then we made a pattern of black and white, black and white. And hopefully you got that filled in. Now we're coming back for our second part and we're going to be creating a color wheel. And that's why you had 12 lines. So the first color you can see here is I picked red, starting with the rainbow. But you don't have to start with red, but eventually you will get back to it because we are creating a color wheel. So I'm going to do one whole piece, so each kind of like each piece of the pie or each piece of the pizza here is going to be one color in the color wheel. So notice the way and the direction that I colored with my red crayon. One, I'm coloring up and down, up and down. I don't go side to side on this. I also colored kind of dark here because in the middle, I'm actually going to color same direction with it, but I'm going to do a little bit lighter. What I'm trying to do is create an illusion of um, shape to it so that I'm creating a light and a dark side. And we've talked about this before. It's value. And so we're trying to create that value in our artwork with light and dark so that we kind of give it a shape and that it doesn't look... 2D anymore. We're trying to make it that illusion of 3D and there's movement in it. So now that I've used red, I'm going to be going around the color wheel using colors in order. So the next color I'm going to use, this is one of our primary colors. And then we have, so we have our primary colors, red, yellow, blue. And if you remember that song that I've put on here, you mix them together and make something new. So I need red, yellow, and blue. I'm not going to use all three of these colors right now. What I'm going to do is, um, so when you mix your primary colors together, you get your secondary colors. But then when you mix a primary and a secondary, you get intermediate colors. And so right now, I know that if I go red... And then I have my orange color over here because red and orange, like in the rainbow, I have to have a color that's in between these two. So if you mix these two together, we actually get red orange, which is this darker orange color. So that one's actually going to be what I use in between here. So I've already used my red and if you want to mark them, that's what I did when I was first doing it so you don't mess up. I kind of did it with the crayon and I did red, orange, and then I marked this with an O. But notice I'm doing it really light, boys and girls, so you can barely see it because if not, you'll see it through your coloring and you don't want that. So again, when I said we're going to color with our crayons, I press down with a little more pressure on the outside. And notice I'm kind of doing like a diagonal kind of coloring so it looks kind of like that. It's not at a point exactly, but it's just kind of in this shape like this. So I'm gonna do that on both sides like this, nice and dark and hard. And then I do a light lighter in the center. And I'm using my wrong crayon. And I am sorry, I'm using red orange in this. The nice thing is, is that I can go right over it. I put them down together and then I picked up the wrong one. This one in the center will have more of a point because it comes to a point right here at the end. So that one will. But then again, you're going to come in. I'm coloring up and down, up and down, up and down. And then I'm going to color a diagonal the shape. Notice I'm not just drawing a line down. I don't want you to do that because I want the colors to kind of blend together. I don't want it to look like you've drawn a line down your paper and filling it in. I want these two colors to really blend together. So I'm going to do red orange. So then the, I told you that the next one was orange. And so I also have my next color in the rainbow, which is yellow. Let me find my yellow crayon. Oh, yellow's right here. So if I have orange and yellow here, then what color do you think comes between orange and yellow if I mix those two colors together? Well, if you said yellow orange, you were correct. So I'm going to use right now, I'll make sure I don't put those back in there. I'm going to use my orange right now because remember I was accidentally using that a minute ago when I was coloring my red orange. But I'm going to color this in a little bit quicker so that way you guys can see what I'm doing and making sure that I create that value of light and dark. And again, I'm kind of coloring at an angle, diagonal. 
And I can color pretty quickly, boys, on this, boy, um, as long as I'm staying inside the lines. The nice thing is, is that we use that black Sharpie. So hopefully that will not, um, you'll be able to kind of hide some of your coloring when you're doing that. And then I'm going to color nice and light. See what I'm saying? You don't want to draw your letters too dark if you're marking them. And you can also do it in pencil to just make sure you erase it before you go. And I want to blend those colors in. So then I'm creating, like I said, light and dark. And so we said after orange is yellow orange. And so that's one of my intermediate colors that when I mix a secondary color and a primary color together, I get those nice intermediate colors, but also they helped us blend colors a little bit better so that we're not just going from one color straight over into another color. We can use those like when we're trying to blend in colors with each other because they're really close to each other on the color wheel. So I'm gonna color a few more. My next one's gonna be yellow. And then I also have green, which is my secondary color. So if I have yellow and green, yellow and green together make yellow green and green so I'm gonna go ahead and color those in and we're gonna come back okay boys and girls so I've gotten from red all the way to green something you'll start to notice too is then as you go and you color in the first one I colored in if they're across from each other these are complementary colors and that's one way another way we can use our color wheel is how colors look good when they complement each other they look good together and you'll see you know, Christmas time red and green together a lot of times because those are complementary colors and so those are going to be our colors that are across from each other and we'll see more as we go around the color wheel so I did green and so I know the next color in the rainbow is blue but we're going to make sure we always skip a spot so let me find my blue color and blue would be right here but if blue is right here boys and girls then what color do you think comes between blue and green well if you said blue green you were correct it kind of looks like a turquoise color um, and it is going to be the color that we put between blue and our green remember we're coloring darker on the outside kind of making that angle in and then lighter on the inside to look like light and dark and that we have some shape to our artwork and creating some movement so I'm gonna find my blue after blue comes um, well normally indigo but we're going to use um, blue and then blue violet and then violet ooh Miss Sean See, I'm making my way around the color wheel, boys and girls. So I've done my blue green, my blue, my blue violet, which means my next color would be my violet. And then I'm going to color red violet. Okay, boys and girls, so we have finished our color wheel, but we are not done with this assignment. So next week we're going to talk again, but I want to give you a chance to color this and not go into any more details on this assignment because that is a lot to get done. And I want you to be able to finish your art project and be ready for next week. So I hope you have fun with this, boys and girls, and I'll see you next art class.